In this video, we're going to see how to process sales orders that have come down from an integrated e-commerce store into Brightpile. So we'll place an order online, paying by credit card. We'll see that order downloaded into Brightpile. We'll fulfill and ship the order, and then we'll invoice the order to complete it. And finally, demonstrate some reports. And whilst we'll show this purely on the Shopify store, the principles also apply to Magento, BigCommerce, EKM, and any other integrated e-commerce platform. So here we have an e-commerce store where we're going to buy a big paddle with yellow ends. We're going to buy as a new customer so that we see a contact record created in Brightpearl CRM. We're going to ship to the same place as our billing address and we're going to use a test payment method that effectively simulates a real credit card. And then place the order. In Brightpearl, on the recent sales list, we can see this order from Ben Parker sat at the top of our list. We can see that the order has been fully allocated by the fact that it's got a green tick here, which means that all available inventory has been allocated to this sale. We can see the sales channel's order reference, in this case 1036, and we can see that the order has been paid in full. Let's drop into that order to have a look. Here's the big paddle with yellow ends, and one has been allocated to the order. Standard shipping has been chosen by the sales channel. The channel is set up here on the right hand side, and the customer reference is the sales channel order reference. If you're using multiple warehouses, then each channel can be set a warehouse to allocate inventory from. The next thing we need to do is fulfill this sales order to create a shipment, or a goods out note. So we'll go fulfill and ship later. If we only wanted to ship half of the items on the sale, we could use this partial or advanced fulfillment screen. But we know everything's in stock, so we'll go fulfill and ship later. This creates a goods out note and marks the sale as all fulfilled. And we can see this by the green brick here. We can open the goods out note by clicking the link, which takes us to the goods out screen, which is effectively the packing note and here we've got the big paddle with yellow ends. We'll print, pick and pack this and when we pack it we have the opportunity to add a tracking reference. If you're integrating Brightpole with a carrier that tracking reference will be put in automatically. And then finally when we ship the goods out note Brightpole will tell the sales channel that this particular line item has been shipped. In the case of Shopify, this creates a shipment and also marks the sale as fulfilled. And we can see here that the shipping method, standard shipping, and the tracking references come through from Brightpearl. Going back to the Brightpearl sales order, we can see in the accounting tab that we actually owe the customer £45.99. That's because we've had £45.99 paid by the customer for this order and we've not yet raised an invoice. So the final piece of the puzzle is to invoice this sale, which we can either do one by one within the sale itself, or from the sales list, we can invoice in batch. And what we'd want to do is filter to show all sales that are fully shipped, but not yet invoiced. So let's show the filter, and it's fully shipped, but not yet invoiced. And here's the one we've just shipped. We can tell it's shipped by the fact that the truck is all colored and then would batch invoice. The invoicing process creates the final accounting transactions that record the revenue into our profit and loss account. And we can see that at reports, profit and loss. We've got revenue from sales, sales discounts, and also from shipping and delivery income. The purchases line is the cost of sales, cost of goods sold which gives us a gross profit. And this is our company profit and loss. If we want to, we can limit this to just show a profit and loss for one of our sales channels. So there's the Shopify profit and loss. In a similar way, we can see sales by channel to see which our most popular sales channels are. We can see our most popular products. And this is across the whole business, regardless of your sales channel. 
If we wanted to show the best selling products on one particular store, let's say our retail Shopify store, we could filter the report to just show the best sellers for that store. So let's have a look at a few essential concepts. When the order is downloaded from the store, any available inventory is allocated to that order, which means that it's removed from other sales channels automatically. Orders are downloaded into Brightpel from each sales channel in slightly different ways. So some of them come through within a minute or so, and some of them can take up to 15 minutes, depending on the technology that the sales channel has available on their API. Sales receipts are created in Brightpel when the customer pays dependent on the payment method, so whether it's PayPal, check, money order, or credit card. And have a look at the documentation for each specific sales channel for more information. Similarly, only some sales channels support partial shipment, so perhaps you'd ship half an order now and half an order later, and that works in different ways depending on the store that you have connected. And finally, authorized payments are not automatically captured when the order is shipped, so you'd need to do that manually. Most sales order processing can be automated using the Brightpull Automation app. So goods outnotes and dropship purchase orders can be created, or orders can be flagged for fraud or customization based on a set of rules you define, so you only need to manually process the exceptions.